coming to the preparations and properties of phenol before starting the preparation and properties of phenol let us see the resonance in phenol now first of all this ch pi bond here the arrow start from the upper bond it is considered as the pi bond so that lower bond is the sigma bond this pi bond polarizes in this direction the sense it ionizes in this direction so that a positive charge is obtained at uh, carbon 1 and uh, at carbon 6 a negative charge is obtained now carbon 1 will possess a vacant orbital in which this lone pair is coordinated in the sense this vacant orbital of carbon and the filled orbital of oxygen will fall up in a parallel manner so as to get a pi bond here no oxygen atom was originally sp3 hybridized it changes its hybridization to sp2 in this structure now when a pi bond is formed between carbon 1 and oxygen the oxygen carries a positive charge because one electron of oxygen is given to the positive carbon at uh, positive carbon at position 1 and then <coughs> they get a pi bond and a positive charge over oxygen atom and carbon 6 possess a lone pair of electron and hence a negative charge so the canonical structure obtained will be having this structure now negative charge means there is a pair of electron in an orbital now if you assume that this carbon is sp2 hybridized and an orbital possessing a lone pair of electron now uh, the shifting of this pair of electron and simultaneous shift here will repeat so that uh, we have now a lone pair orbital here and the carbon is assumed to be sp2 and this pi bond uh, ionizes in this direction in the sense the orbital of this carbon gains a pair of electron and the orbital of this carbon that is carbon 5 carbon 5 is left with an orbital which is vacant and possessing a positive charge so the lone pair orbital over carbon 6 and if the carbon is assumed to be sp2 hybridized will overlap with the, the vacant orbital of carbon 5 having a positive charge and these two orbitals are perpendicular to the plane of the paper and so they are mutually parallel and a pi bond will be formed between them and here carbon 4 possesses a negative charge and a lone pair orbital which and if this carbon is assumed to be sp2 hybridized then the lone pair orbital will be perpendicular to the plane of the paper now the same thing repeats here also this pi bond here ionizes in this direction so we get a lone pair orbital uh, which is perpendicular to the plane of the benzene ring or the paper if the carbon is sp2 hybridized now here we get a vacant orbital and a positive charge of over the carbon now this lone pair orbital and this vacant orbital are mutually parallel and they can overlap to form a pi bond here and this position uh, that is the carbon here will possess a lone pair orbital which is perpendicular to the plane of the paper if the carbon is assumed to be sp2 hybridized and a negative charge will be obtained by this carbon now this lone pair orbital and the carbon possessing negative charge then if this pi bond is ionizing in this direction means the electron pair in this bond is taken up by the orbital of oxygen then uh we get 
a neutral charge here because this oxygen atom get the share of this carbon and this carbon possess a vacant orbital and again positive charge to this carbon now the negative charge here and positive charge here can be neutralized by all up of this lone pair orbital here and the vacant orbital here a pi bond will be formed since these two orbitals are uh, perpendicular to the plane of the paper and so mutual neutralization of charge occurs and we get a pi bond here and the phenol original structure is retained but you notice the point that here the pi bonds are arranged in this manner and here the pi bonds are arranged in this manner so we get the resonance structure of benzene here now suppose phenol ionizes to give the anion and h positive now the oh bond ionizes so that we get o negative and h positive now this ion is called a phenoxide ion now phenoxide ion also can undergo resonance here the negative charge shifts in this direction means a lone pair of oxygen atom is forming a bond between the oxygen and this carbon and for that initially this bond pi bond ionizes and we get a vacant orbital here and uh, the filled orbital of oxygen atom uh, overlaps in a parallel manner to get a pi bond between oxygen and uh, carbon and the charge of our oxygen atom is neutralized because one electron is given to this positive carbon and when this ionizes we get a lone pair orbital here and uh, that orbital if this carbon is assumed to be sp2 will be perpendicular to the plane of the paper now we get a negative charge and the negative charge means always a lone pair now when this bond uh, this pi bond here ionizes like this we get a positive charge here and a vacant orbital which is perpendicular to the plane of the paper now here we have a filled orbital perpendicular to the plane of the paper so these two orbitals are parallel and when they overlap the lone pair is coordinated to the vacant orbital here means one electron of the lone pair is given to this carbon so that the negative charge neutralizes here and the positive charge also neutralizes here and we get a pair of electron here and a negative charge here now the same thing is repeated here and we get negative charge here and the pi bond here now when uh, this pi bond goes entirely into the orbital of oxygen atom we get a positive carbon here and a vacant orbital and the oxygen becomes negative and this vacant orbital having positive charge when overlaps with the filled orbital here we get a pi bond and the charges are neutralized because one electron of its lone pair is given to this carbon and the phenoxide ion is also a resonance hybrid now the thing is that the phenol resonating structure is contain two charges now separation of charges and the increase in number of charges make the canonical structures unstable so two charges means instability is high right whereas phenoxide contain only one charge so compared to the canonical structures of free phenol the phenoxide canonical structures are more stable because the number of charges is decreased in phenoxide so we say phenoxide is more stabilized by resonance than phenol so that the resonance hybrid of phenol will be having a higher free energy than the resonance hybrid of phenoxide so phenoxide is more stable and more stable the phenoxide more is the tendency of formation of phenoxide from phenol so that more is the uh, tendency of formation of h positive so we say phenol is acidic and the only reason is that 
Phenoxide ion is more resonance stabilized than phenol. That is the only reason for the acidic nature of phenol. So, that is the most important point regarding phenol. It is acidic in character. It is more acidic than alcohol because there is resonance stabilization of the phenoxide ion which is more resonance stabilized than free phenol, unionized phenol. And that is again due to the canonical structures of phenoxide contain only one charge whereas the canonical structures of phenol contain two, charge, two charges and the charge structures are unstable. Greater the number of charges, higher will be the instability. Now coming to the methods of preparation of phenol. Now the first method is this one. Benzene is dissolved in fuming sulfuric acid and fuming sulfuric acid is called Oleum, O-L-E-U-M, oleum. Oleum is obtained by dissolving sulfur trioxide gas in concentrated sulfuric acid so that the acid fumes like concentrated hydrochloric acid. So fumes are observed uh, due to the presence of dissolved sulfur trioxide gas and here Benzene sulfonic acid is formed. Now the product is this one benzene Now, sulfur trioxide is actually the electrophile there. Now, the SO bond ionizes as S positive and O negative, and uh, this pi bond uh, connects to the sulfur atom through one of the carbon atoms, maybe through this carbon or through this carbon. Now, suppose the pi bond ionizes in this direction. And uh, so we get a positive charge here and a negative charge here. So this orbital overlaps with the, the vacant orbital formed over sulfur. And then we get a bond and a positive charge here. Now this is a carbocation. And uh, uh, its charge is neutral of course because there is negative and positive charges. But there is positive charge over carbon. So we can consider it as a carbocation. Anyway, the net charge is zero. Now this charge, carbocationic part is stabilized by resonance. As usual in the case of electrophilic substitution reaction, so that this positive charge may be delocalized over the benzene ring system except this carbon which is a saturated carbon. Now uh, this carbocationic part then changes to the benzenoid structure which is more stable than this one by shifting of a CH bond in this direction so that this pair of electron now becomes the bond here that so that the share of electron of hydrogen is obtained by this carbon and uh, the positive charge is getting neutralized and this H positive release will combine with uh, the negative charge and here the negative charge is over oxygen so it becomes white and the structure is SO3 OH and that is benzene sulfonic acid. So sulfur trioxide acting as the electrophile. Formation of 
an intermediate carb carb carbocationic part which is stabilized by resonance not so stabilized as in the case of benzene so it easily gets converted to the benzenoid structure by removal of h as h positive and this h positive combines with o negative to form oh and the group so3 h is formed now benzene sulfonic acid is also stabilized by resonance and this group contain more electronegative atoms oxygen atoms so it shows minus mesomeric effect and minus i effect so that this pi bond may shift in this direction and simultaneous ionization of this so bond occurs and we get o negative double bond here and a positive charge here and again we can draw more canonical structures by shift of this bond we get positive charge here by shift of this bond we get positive charge here and again this uh, pi bond shift can also result in the ionization of this uh, so bond pi bond so the oxygen atom here or oxygen atom here can carry the negative charge so in the resonance hybrid the two oxygen atoms will carry negative charge partial negative charge and the benzene ring will carry positive charges in the ortho and para positions with respect to the sulfonic acid group so that the so bond is having partial double bond character or so bond is strengthened now the net reaction may be written as benzene plus so3 in presence of h2so4 this uh, carbon to its bond is broken and so3 is getting connected to this carbon and h is connected to oxygen and we get so3 h so that is the net reaction symbol now so3 h is a highly electron withdrawing group so that this carbon will have positive character due to the electron withdrawing nature of so3 h by minus m and minus i h already we know the ortho and para positions are having positive charge by minus i effect uh, this point may have a slight positive charge so electron density is withdrawn from the ring making the ring deficient in electron density so that a nucleophile or its negative can attack this structure now when oh negative attacks this carbon one the pi bond here ionizes we get a negative charge here and we get a bond between oh and this carbon and the already present so bond in so3h now this anionic part is also stabilized by resonance and this negative charge may shift in this direction with the simultaneous ionization of this bond so that the negative charge comes here and when this negative charge forms a bond here means a lone pair bond forms a bond here this bond ionizes to give a negative charge here and a lone pair of course so that the negative charge can be delocalized over the system excluding this carbon so that this carbanion it is called an anion carbanion is also stabilized by resonance and this is a nucleophilic attack where the nucleophile is oh negative and carbon 1 possesses positive charge due to the minus i effect of the so3h group and oh negative prefers to attack the 
പോസിഷൻ വൺ ഡ്യൂ ടു ഇറ്റ്സ് പാർഷ്യൽ പോസിറ്റീവ് ചാർജ് ആൻഡ് അഗെയിൻ ഡ്യൂ ടു സ്റ്റെബിലൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ നെഗറ്റീവ് ചാർജ് ബൈ ഡി ലോക്കലൈസേഷൻ ഓവർ ദ റിമെയിനിങ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ബെൻസിൻ റിങ് സിസ്റ്റം നൗ ദ ഇൻ്റർമീഡിയറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ ഇൻ്റർമീഡിയറ്റ് കാർബാനിയോൺ ഇൻ്റർമീഡിയറ്റ് is not so stable as the benzene ring system so this will show a tendency to get converted into the benzenoid structure now for that this carbon should eliminate one of the groups now carbon to oxygen bond is stronger than carbon to sulfur bond because sulfur belongs to the third period and sulfur atom will possess uh, 3p orbital hybridized the 3p orbital for bonding with the, the 2p hybrid orbital of carbon since uh, an orbital in the third shell will have lower electron density and again uh, the overlap region is having a lower electron density the s2 carbon bond the cs bond is weaker so it is easily broken away from the structure so that this pair of electron goes with the sulfur atom as so3h negative and oh is getting connected here and this lone pair uh, forms a bond here so when so 3h is removed we get a positive charge here and that is neutralized by the pair of electron forming a bond here that is shown by an arrow starting from the negative charge then we get uh, oh it's here and uh, i told you earlier that phenol is acidic so it will react with a base producing it salt o negative and na positive so that h and o h combined to form water and then addition of a strong acid hydrochloric acid will uh, dissociate this into free phenol and uh, the corresponding so suppose we are adding h positive cl negative we get o h and uh, na cl so acidification with a strong mineral acid like sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid uh, the free phenol is liberated now the method is first of all treating benzene with the fumin sulfuric acid and the benzene sulfonic acid formed is heated with the molten sodium hydroxide so extreme conditions are needed here molten sodium hydroxide and the fumin sulfuric acid so this is also a method of manufacture of phenol then what happens to the so 3h minus group so 3h minus group is having this structure is double bond or double bond or oh h with a negative charge or a sulfur and when this pair of electron is going along with sulfur there will be a lone pair of electron or a sulfur now this sulfur atom with the negative charge is little unstable because it is Uh, the less electronegative atom that is sulfur is carrying the negative charge the system will prefer the negative charge over a more electronegative el- atom like oxygen so that the s double bond of polarizes to give o negative but the lone pair will be here but there is no charge because one electron of sulfur is taken up by oxygen and uh, forms a pair of electron here and a negative charge and negative charge indicates there is a pair of electron now with the na positive in the medium supplied by naoh the sodium salt is formed now this is an acidic oh so with the naoh 
അയണൈസസ് ആർ സോ നെഗറ്റീവ് എൻ എ പോസിറ്റീവ് ഇറ്റ്സ് കണക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഓ നെഗറ്റീവ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓ എച്ച് ഇസ് റിമൂവ്ഡ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഫോം സോ നെഗറ്റീവ് എൻ എ പോസിറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് ഇസ് എൻ എ ടു എസ് ഒ ത്രീ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സോഡിയം സൾഫൈഡ് സോ ദ നെറ്റ് റിയാക്ഷൻ മേ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആർ സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫൈവ് എസ് ഒ ത്രീ എച്ച് ത്രീ എൻ എ ഒ എച്ച് സി സിക്സ് എച്ച് ഫൈവ് ഒ എൻ എ പ്ലസ് എൻ എ ടു എസ് ഒ ത്രീ പ്ലസ് ടു എച്ച് ടു ഒ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൻ ഇക്വേഷൻ സിമ്പിൾ ഇക്വേഷൻ ഫോർ ദ എൻ്റെയർ പ്രോസസ് മേ ബി സംഡ് അപ്പ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഇക്വേഷൻ ആൻഡ് സോഡിയം ഫിനോക്സൈഡ് ഓൺ റിയാക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് ഹൈഡ്രോക്ലോറിക് ആസിഡ് ഓർ ഡയലൂട്ട് സൾഫിരിക് ആസിഡ് വി ഗെറ്റ് ദ ഫ്രീ ഫിനോൾ ന ഫിനോൾ ഈസ് ലെസ് അസിഡിക് ദാൻ ഹൈഡ്രോക്ലോറിക് ആസിഡ് ഓർ സൾഫിരിക് ആസിഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫിനോൾ ഈസ് ആൾസോ ലെസ് അസിഡിക് ദാൻ ഈവൻ ദി കാർബോക്സിലിക് ആസിഡ്സ് ആർ സി ഡബ്ല്യു ഐ എച്ച് സോ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സി ഡബ്ല്യു ഐ എച്ച് ഇസ് മോർ ആസിഡിക് ദാൻ ഫിനോൾ and again phenol is less acidic than carbonic acid which is H2CO3 so phenol is less acidic than RCOOH less acidic than carbonic acid etc so that when you pass when you mix the sodium salt with the RCOOH or uh, H2CO3, we are able to get the free phenol. Now that is uh, sulfonation reaction followed by fusion with uh, sodium hydroxide. Now, in the laboratory, benzene diazonium chloride, abbreviated as BDC, may be used for uh, preparing phenol. Now, benzene diazonium chloride, we have seen it earlier. in which reaction in sandmeyer reaction angline the primary amine is treated with uh, sodium nitrite and hcl below 5 degree celsius then we get benzene diazonium chloride also indicates nitrogen diazo indicates to nitrogen and the structure is n2 positive cl negative c6h5 n2 positive cl negative that is benzene diazonium chloride now this diazonium ion can uh, take up electron density from the benzene ring by minus m effect and minus i effect because nitrogen positive is much more more electronegative than carbon and there is triple bond of nitrogen which is much more electronegative so this endo positive group as a whole is highly electronegative so that the alpha carbon will possess positive charge and water can act as a nucleophile in this reaction and endo positive is a good leaving group the quality of a good leaving group is that it is stable as a free entity for a species now n2 positive and takes up one pair of electron it becomes n2 molecule that is nitrogen gas and nitrogen gas is highly stable least reactive similarly os2 positive and takes up a pair of electron we get a stable molecule water so os2 positive n2 positive etc are good leaving groups we say now here the nucleophilic attack occurs over carbon 1 that is alpha carbon means the carbon connected to n2 positive so that oxygen possesses a positive charge and uh, to maintain the valency the pi bond here ionizes polarizes in this direction so that the ortho position is made negative and the lone pair is there now a cn bond is weaker than a co bond as the electronegativity of the atom increases the partial ionic character of covalent bonds increases and higher the partial ionic character higher is the strength of a covalent bond and uh, since n2 positive is a good leaving group 
the sphere of electron is entirely taken up by n2 positive so that nitrogen gets the share of this carbon and the positive charge is getting neutralized and this carbon gains a positive charge neutralize the positive charge the sphere of electron is shifting in between these two points and we get os2 positive which again remove an h positive by shifting of this bonding pair over oxygen atom in the sense oxygen atom taking up the complete pair of electron in its orbital and we get the oh group so phenol is produced when benzene disonium chloride is warmed with water then the manufacture of uh, uh, phenol there are two methods and one method is called uh, dowds process dowds process we have seen earlier that is chlorobenzene is treated with uh, sodium hydroxide extreme conditions are used fused sodium hydroxide at 620 kelvin and 320 atmospheres of pressure then uh, as usual the free phenol will be formed but the phenol will react with the sodium hydroxide producing the sodium salt which can be acidified with the acid hcl or h2so4 to get the free phenol the simple reaction is removal of nh and formation of oh that you uh, must remember that uh, this oh is acidic so it will react with naoh producing o minus na positive and then you have to uh, treat it with uh, hcl to get the free phenol so that is one method of manufacture and then another important method of manufacture which is widely used worldwide production of phenol is from a compound called cumin cumin is isopropyl benzene that is cumin and there is a ch bond in cumin the ch bond in isopropyl group no oxygen is or double bond or when the pi bond breaks we get oxygen with uh, valence is one oxygen atom possessing one valence and the other oxygen possessing valence now this ch bond breaks and uh, the valence of oxygen is connected to this carbon and then valence of hydrogen is connected to this oxygen so we get this structure which is similar to the structure of hydrogen peroxide so we call it cumin hydro because there is one hydrogen hydro peroxide now cumin hydro peroxide This, this reaction is conducted in presence of air alkali and at a temperature of 130 degrees celsius cumin hydroperoxide uh, dissociates in such a manner that the this bond is getting broken this bond is getting broken valence over oxygen valence over carbon they combine to form a pi bond and we get c double bond o cst c double bond o cst is called acetone and the valence of this oxygen the valence of the benzene ring combined to form phenol so cumin hydroperoxide decomposes uh, giving free phenol and acetone as the product and this reaction is catalyzed by acid so in presence of acid medium this reaction occurs and then coming to the mechanism of uh, uh, conversion of cumin hydroperoxide into acetone and uh, phenol now this is cumin hydroperoxide in presence of acid h positive is getting connected to oxygen atom through the lone pair we get oh2 positive 
Now OS2 positive is a good leaving loop so that it will take up the spare of electron towards itself so that positive charge will be created over the solution. Now what happens is that the benzene ring with this bonding pair of electron will move it towards this oxygen. So it is something called a 1, 2 shift. A 1, 2 shift. So that now the phenyl group is connected to oxygen atom. Since this pair of electron is withdrawn and uh, connected to this positive oxygen obtained by removal of this pair of electron, this carbon atom gets a positive charge and O is connected to phenol. So you simply re remove this phenyl ring and connect this phenyl ring to oxygen atom through this bond so that the carbon loses its share and gets a positive charge. So that is one step of the reaction. Now this positive carbon absorbs a molecule of water and then removes H as H positive because when water attacks this point, the positive charge will be taken up by oxygen. And when OH2, so this will be remaining as C bond OH2 positive. When the bonding pair of electron in the OH bond is withdrawn by oxygen, it neutralizes its charge and H positive is removed so that we get an OH group connected to the positive carbon. This positive carbon ultimately gets connected to an OH group. Now, this bond rotates through 90 degree so that C double bond O is formed. Then the valence of carbon increases. To decrease the valency, this bond rotates to 90 degree and forms a bond between H and O. Here when this bond is shifted, we get H positive. And uh, when this bond is shifted, the charge of H positive is neutralized because the share of this carbon is given to hydrogen. So we get acetone and uh, phenol. So that is the mechanism of uh, conversion of chemin hydroperoxide into phenol and acetone. And this is the worldwide method of production of phenol from chemin, that is isopropyl benzene. So that is enough. Thank you.